going to introduce us. Abel is going to start the introduction and why we are here in the agenda. Abel, go ahead. Yes, thank you so much, Anika, and uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining this very important webinar. My name is Abel Koka. I'm from Tanzania, but also I'm, I'm the member of the Beijing Plus 25 Youth Task Force. And uh, I wish to say thank you for each one of you for taking your time to join this uh, this meeting, which is uh, solely on uh, African Regional Youth Consultation in a visual, vi visualizing Beijing Plus 25. Plus 25. And uh, as uh, it has as, been uh, said, it has been the, said through the various advertised that this webinar is a uh, is uh, co-hosted by Feminate, but prepared together with uh, SRO, UN Women SRO Office, but also Plus 25 Youth Task Force. And the purpose is to hear from young people and other members from different CSOs on uh, what has been the progress in the achievement of the Beijing Declaration Partner for Action. By the achievement, by the achievement challenges, challenges, what action do we want to take forward after this the celebration of 25, 25 years? And uh, the end product of this meeting today will feed in the outcome document which will be presented in the CSW on the 9th March. We are convening a youth dialogue. And during this dialogue, the information from this webinar will be shared in the outcome document, which will be read during the, the during the, the dialogue. But also, we are looking forward to have an action coalition meeting taking place in France later this month. So we thought that it could be an ideal to hear from young people and members of the community at large on what kind of views are they holding, what kind of uh, information do they want to feed in the action coalition meeting and uh, as uh, the agenda for today we will have a brief introduction uh, on beijing declaration and the platform for action and why year 2020 is so important this year is very important there are so many things will be happening in this year so why 2020 we will hear about that but also we'll have a session on CSW 64, Commission on Status of Women, which will take place from March, March 9th. Also, we will have a Q&A session whereby participants on this webinar will have a chance to ask various questions to the organizer of this call, FEMNET, SRO, and the Beijing Plus 25 Youth Task Force and uh, your concern will be addressed accordingly. But also we will share an update on our future webinars, which will take place after this one. And for your information, we will have another webinar tomorrow for the Francophone region, but also we'll have some other updates on what will follow after, 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 after today. And uh, for your information, the presenters for this webinar today will come from Feminate, who will give us a brief introduction about CSW, but we also have presenters from the Beijing Club and Task Force, who will tell us about the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, but also why year 2020 is very important, but also others will moderate. So we have Karim from Cameroon, Doreen from Kenya, Chantel from Zimbabwe, based in the UK, Oba from Ghana, but also we have myself, Abel, Amanda from Ghana, from Uganda, and then Anika from Kenya. And uh, having said so, I wish to pass this on to Anika, who will take us through the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action and other agendas after that. Anika, passing to you now. Thank you Hello. very much, Isabel. Kindly mute yourself. We are now on the second phase. Please check your connection and mute yourself. I think everyone has done that now. My name is Anika. I come from. Okay. 
um, representing the Beijing 25 Plus Youth Task Force. I noted that we skipped introductions and because we are around 25 participants, please get into the chat box as we go on and chat your name. Just type your name, your organization, and maybe your email address for whoever will want to get in touch with you as we go on. So picking up from where Abel has uh, stopped, I'm going to ask um, Esther from Femnet to please project our, our presentation so that people can have a view. There's someone in town somewhere, please mute yourself. Is it Lucy? I don't know. There's someone who's um, who has not muted. No, Esther, no, it's not me. <laughs> Okay, uh, so there goes the presentation, everyone. So we are just going to move to slide four. Esther, slide four. Yeah, so the, that says the Beijing Declaration Platform for Action. Just to give, a, I'm sure most of you are now familiar with, with the Beijing Declaration. On the screen are the 12 critical areas. This year, uh, you and I decided to come together with um, the government of Mexico and government of Iran to create generation equality so that we can commemorate the 25 years of uh, the Beijing platform. So the 12 critical areas of concern were the women in poverty, education, and women in women. Women in uh, okay. Women in health, women in armed conflict, violence, women in the economy, women in power, institutional mechanism, human rights of women, women in the media, women in the environment, and the girl child. Why is it important for us to convene as Africa youth? It's important for us to convene because when we need to be able to represent the issues of Africa on a global stage. So I'm aware that not all of us will be attending, but we need to be able to equip those who are attending these events to be able to represent the views of the African uh, youth and African women in this year. So, um, in the next slide, I'm going to go through the timeline for the Beijing Declaration. Um, we started with the 1975 First World Conference of Women in Mexico, moved on to Seydau, moved on to the Second Conference in Copenhagen. Then we had the Fourth Conference um, in 1995 which was a major declaration uh, moving on. And then we've had every five years, we've had the commemoration of the Beijing Platform for Action. Uh, the context is that we have multiple crises around the world regarding gender equality. No country in the world has so far been able to achieve gender equality, and we need to be able to change this conversation. There's a shrinking civil space and curtailment of freedoms of speech and information for women. There's increased feminist activism without getting the necessary backing from governments and our united front of civil society. We need to increase cross alliances within civil society to be able to achieve gender equality. And this is the context of bringing everybody together under the umbrella of Beijing 25, specifically generation equality, so that we can be able to bridge the gap between the old and the, and the young moving forward. Uh, what we want to achieve in the next slide is we want to achieve irreversible progress towards gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls everywhere. We need greater accountability and responsibility from our governments, our civil society, and our, society, and our societal spaces on the status of gender equality. We need to address the polarization and pushbacks. I'm sure in Africa, we have had severely the term toxic feminism, which has been termed for young people coming into feminism. So we need to understand and address what, where is the polarization coming from? 
and the pushbacks and how do we move forward in, in, in creating a society that accepts gender equality as a key priority area. Uh, we also need to acknowledge the youth leadership in setting the agenda going forward. The, we need to brand and build the capacity of youth-led organizations and young feminist movements and strengthen them in the fight for gender equality moving forward. Um, so what is the review process like? As I've said, it's just five years, every five years. And um, why we are, where we are at now, we've had national meetings and collaboration with collaborators. We moved to regional meeting. Each continent had a meeting, and a meeting. some of them went to Addis to, to have a meeting. And we are now moving to CSDAM. And we need to continue to have CSDAM. And what is the African position in action? And the youth and the uh, position, position towards CSW. So, so from here, I'm going to uh, pass it over to my colleague called Oba. Uh, and Oba is going to talk about why is the year 2020 so important in, in, in brief, and why we really need to leverage on the year 2020 to achieve um you know the maximum success uh we will have uh, questions you know time to take answer uh, questions and answers uh, at, uh you know af after after presenting for csw and action coalitions because the key agenda today is to collect information for csw and for the action coalitions um, and how are we going to achieve all this by looking at as as you contribute towards this process can we look at what stronger laws uh, and policies do we want? How do, we how do we achieve this? What are the strong implementation key areas? Where do we need increased support for gender equality mechanisms? And how can we transform societal norms and attitudes? How do we increase significantly the resources towards gender equality? How do we improve strength and accountability for the implementation of the commitments made by our governments towards gender equality. How do we collect better data, monitoring and evaluation? How do we revitalize public debate and social mobilization on you know, gender equality? How do we bring forth the support of bystanders, mo mo movable middle people to amplify the outreach? How do we influence the next generation of gender equality advocates? And lastly, how do we create a consolidated, strengthened feminist movement? So as you think around the questions that you want you know, to be answered and solutions, we are really focused also on the solutions that you can offer and suggestions that we can take on the global stage and say, here is the African blueprint to generation equality. So Oba, are you online? Yes, so Oba, uh, I'm going to hand it over to you to take us through why is 2020 so important? Welcome, Oba. Thanks, Anita. Hello, everybody. My name is Oba, and I'm from Ghana, a member of the Beijing Plus 25 Youth Task Force. Um, so as Anika already mentioned, the year 2020 really presents us with a very unique opportunity to make some very significant input into, you know, the various policy documents and policy processes, if I may put it that way, globally in a way that ensures that the gender equality conversation is actually imprinted quite significantly. Um, for 2020, it's actually a confluence of um, anniversaries, if I can put it that way. The first is that the 25th year of the review and appraisal of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action. It's also the 20th anniversary for the adoption of the Security Council um, resolution. And it's also the 20th year review of the 2030 agenda of the Sustainable Development And therefore, it presents us a very unique entry point into, um, you know, plugging in the whole conversation on gender equality in these you know, processes. So, um, the Generation Equality Forum was supposed to be an intergenerational conversation um, by the UN Women 
with active support and leadership from civil society. And it focuses mainly on um, galvanizing action, mobilizing various interests and powers to ensure that the issues of gender equality are captured in a manner that is beneficial um, for the next five, ten years plus. So that's exactly what the Generation Equality Forum seeks to do. And the government Mexico. And therefore, um, in Mexico in um, May 2020, we'll be mobilizing young people and other feminists as well to meet the Mexico to develop the action and to have in France in July. Action coalition for the year. So it's actually a collective effort that we're seeking for all civil society feminists to come together. Excuse those who, the, the ones with the noise, please mute your speaker. Yes, please. Okay. So, in some, um, the generation equality is to get all of us to rally around the gender equality agenda in a way that moves forward um, in more practical and more concrete forms. So, um, Obak, Obak, could you pause for a minute? Uh, Esther, is, yes. is there a way you can use right. the, the password? Uh, after one, huh? Okay. Okay, now. Okay. Okay. So you go on. Well, Anika, um, yes, please go on. Anika, I've wrapped up so you can take over. Okay, uh, I don't know. There was a lot of background noise in in that um, in that presentation, but I hope everybody was able to get you know um, the gist of why we are focusing really on 2020 because it's the 25 year anniversary and appraisal for the Beijing Declaration. It is the 20th anniversary for the adoption of the Security Council Resolution 1325, and it is the five year review of the 2030 Agenda. And so we are going to have a lot of meetings around this uh, this year, and it is important to leverage on that. Um, so moving forward, we are going to go into CSW because I know most of you are really aware of you know the Beijing process and generation equality. So let's just dive straight in into uh, into CSW. But I think I, we I would seek your indulgence. Um, Esther from FEMNET to start on the action coalitions first, because uh, uh, and then we can wind up with um, with CSW where FEMNET will make a presentation. So the action so coalition. That yes, that is okay. Anika? Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. So for the, so. So I'm going to just do a brief about action coalitions and why we need your contribution. Then we will go into a question and answer session on contributions towards the action coalitions. And then now we will move to CSW and wind up with CSW. Yes, OK. OK. So for action coalitions, what are they basically? Generation Equality Forum will launch a set of action coalitions. If you saw the UN Women website, they were launched on 31st of January. Um, Action coalitions are innovative partnerships among civil society, member states, uh, and business or private sector, as well as other stakeholders, to collectively achieve generation equality. So why are we talking about action coalitions today? Uh, in the first meeting, which was in Mexico, that designed the action coalitions, Esther, if you just go to slide 18, you have the action coalitions listed, which is... Uh, the gender-based violence, economic justice and rights, bodily autonomy, feminist action for climate justice, technology and innovation for gender equality, and feminist movements leadership. 
So these six thematic areas is what was settled on as the thematic areas for the action coalitions. It is important that as Africa, we talk about what is important to us that was left out and how do we, moving to the next design sprint, um, create a strong African position on what we do not want left out of generation equality moving to Mexico and Paris. So, I know that there's some issues that came out from the civil society about the, the exclusion of adolescent girls as a standalone action coalition, the exclusion of youth as a standalone action coalition, but these are things that we can now discuss, and I would urge every uh, oh, wow. people Let to just pass, type in their uh. Just type in your contribution and suggestion in the chat box, but Amanda is going to take over to moderate the question and answer session. So, um, and Esther also. So if you have a, a question or a contribution towards action coalitions, please uh, raise your hand or Esther, I don't know how you can help here so that we can start, you know, talking about it together. Amanda, are you online? Hello. Yes, yes. Who's speaking. So, for those that have any questions regarding, like, um, CSW, or if you have any questions regarding the. Um, the Action Coalitions. Also, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Amanda and I'm part of the Beijing Youth Task Force. And please... I don't know what happened to Amanda. Can everyone hear? Okay. Okay. So, can we start having Hello. some discussion? Hello. 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 Can Can I ask a question? Yes, please. Okay. My name is Tafaz Well. I'm from Zimbabwe. Yes. I wanted to congratulate you on this initiative and I'll just ask a quick question. On, on to what extent is the Action Coalition going to include other members of the G20? Um, I'm not so sure why France um, and Mexico are part, are part of the Action Coalition, but I believe that we feel that as feminists, there are global challenges that need other global players to be involved with. So it's more of a question in to what extent will the Action Coalition include other countries within the G20? And I was also thinking that um, looking at the, G at the shift in the global powers, to what extent are African young women and feminists going to include the BRICS? That's Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and South Africa. Um, this is the reality that we have at the present moment. And I wanted to find out if there are any efforts outside the Action Coalition that are geared towards uh, pushing this block to support women's rights. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Um, do we have any contributions on the um, Action Coalition's thematic areas and anything that uh, would, as you'd like championed from the African perspective in the next design sprint? Anyone? You can also chat in the chat box. I will read those questions too. Okay, so I will. Hello. Hello. 
Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lucy. <laughs> so you asked what we, we or I feel should be included in the CSW before or the version 25. For me, I think you're doing a very good job at um, inclusion and diversity, especially you, you including the young women and upcoming feminists. That is a very good thing. But then I feel like most of the time, uh, young women and persons with disabilities have to be in an organization for them to be included in some of these meetings. So I feel like you being able to reach out to individual uh, people who are uh, interested in, in, in feminism would be a really huge uh, master step. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Lucy. I to, to respond to your question, uh, the task mm -hmm. force has been very deliberate in uh, selecting the criteria for attendance to Mexico and Paris. And one of the criteria is that young people should be able to demonstrate their work without necessarily having to be, you know, attached to an organization. Although we okay, will, that's uh, uh, yeah. So that is for Mexico and so, Paris, but. Um, for for okay. this uh, webinar, we are looking at the yeah. six thematic areas also. I don't know if you've looked at them, the mm -hmm. Action Coalition. Yes, I have. And we really want, yeah. yeah, we really want to hear the youth voice on the representative we are sending to Paris. We want her to go with an African position for the, the youth that she can champion. Okay. Uh, and, and you can look at, you know, what, what exactly is missing. What exactly all right good job okay i'm going to answer the first question as we move forward um she spoke about the other countries so what is going to happen in mexico and paris is the launch and buy-in of generation equality to all member states and uh, all member states because this is a un um led um process together with civil society and the two governments uh, the reason Mexico and, Paris and France came in was the first conference for women happened in Mexico, and therefore they committed to that. And, and France also is a re hub of, you know, revolution for women from the beginning. So it was just, you know, uh, that doesn't mean other countries are excluded. Currently, Generation Equality Secretariat has a core group, a civil society advisory group, and a strategic group that has over, you know, uh, 300 civil society members. The advisory group is a bit smaller, I think around um, 60, uh, and there was a whole selection process that went through. Our current primary goal, because th that process already went through, is to ensure our members who are there, like Fem uh, FemNet CEO, Memory is there representing us also. So our current position is for those who are there representing us, how do we equip them further to ensure that they have an African you know, position that they can advocate for and this position needs to come from the people and that's why we are having this webinar just to collect those views so i'm welcoming uh, more and more questions before we move to csw we'll wind up with csw in the last uh, 15 minutes is there anyone who has a question or should we cover csw and we can do all the questions at the end Or contribution. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead with your uh, contribution. Okay, so um, I'm going to still come back to the question and answer session, but I'm going to turn this over now to FemNet. Uh, Esther? Yes. Esther will tell you uh, what happens at CSW, yeah. what is CSW, what is the consolidation of youth towards CSW, 
and what is the mobilization of African youth towards generation equality? Any strategies and recommendations and the things that Feminet is also doing right now towards CSW? So Esther, over to you. Thank you, Jen. Um, so, so far what we have done is that we really contributed so much towards the launch of the six coalitions um, that UN Women launched and we mobilized people online just to make sure that, you know, our members and those who follow us on social media, they know exactly what um, the six coalitions are they are all about and how they can plug in. We have so far shared the um, the application that is that that was sent to us so that they can apply as lead leads of those key thematic areas. Um, we have also registered quite a number of people. Um, is it a hundred? Uh, yeah, more than a more than a hundred people to, uh, to attend CSW, um, and this includes. Uh, majority of young women and um, so we have quite a number of side events um, those that are being led uh, by Femnet and those ones that we are also um, co-convening with our members we'll have side events some of them on political leadership and uh, we'll have side events with our partners from Hivos on decent work and, and we'll also have um, the, main, the one that Feminet is suggesting will be a review of the, uh, the six action conditions to review what to, we want to really have a, a close um, look at the six themes from a feminist perspective, what, what we want to have as a key ask to the government, to the in global communities and to the social institutions and the, to, to the private sector. So what exactly do we want to, when we look, for example, at um, you know, uh, economic justice, what, what, is our, what is our call to the government? So we have, we have a document that we have done as Feminet and we are still working on it. Uh, we want, we intend to, to, to publish, to design it and publish and, also, and share with those who shall be going for the CSW and even those who, will, who, who, shall not, who, who, who don't have plans to, you know, to attend so that we want to make it as an advocacy tool that, shall, that it will be useful to um, the uh, women and who shall be attending the CSW to make sure that, you know, they have um, they have the right language, they know what exactly they should uh, talk about uh, to influence the spaces. And so you can also find, you will find this information on our digital spaces on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, and all that we have been, we have been uh, very active. The hashtag is Hashtag Africa is ready. If you follow that, we we'll keep getting uh, updates and information that is useful. Um, so, so far that that's what we have done. But on the issue of teenage girls that Anika you mentioned, I want to highlight that one of our members, and I think she's on the platform, don't yet. She will be having a side event for teenage girls in New York. So maybe if we have time, she can give her like to, to, you can give her some minutes just to talk about it. We'll have, we have a calendar of events, of side events that will be have, happening in New York. Um, we will be sharing that. So if you would, in case you don't have your details, uh, you, if you're not a member of Feminet, you can uh, drop in your email on the chat box and we'll be able to share with you the calendar of events to keep you updated. Yes. Anika. Okay, uh, thank you so much, um, Esther. Uh, that was Esther from Feminet. Um, um, I, there was someone from SRO called Robin. Robin, are you here? If uh, Robin here. is here. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Great. Uh, you can just let us know what is the pro SRO had a a steering committee mm -hmm. that has been working on youth 
um, advancement towards generation equality. So if uh, Robin can give us a brief of, you know, the work the steering committee is doing, the future plans, and how we can all, you know, uh, plug in into their work. Or, uh, so Robin, take over. Uh, hi, Anika. Um... I'm just sitting in for Kebe um, to take notes, you know, and brief her on the discussions for today. Um, anything to do with CSW, CSW, CSW 64, she's handling all of that. And I'm sh uh, I was told she's briefed you guys and you're all aware of what is happening. So to be honest, I don't have any information with regards to what, it, what the next steps are. Yeah, okay. I'm sure she'll communicate uh, that to you by email. Um, I don't know. That's okay. We we have the the steps for CSW, but we wanted to touch base with the steering committee that Esaro convened. Oh, and, I wasn't you know, part of that. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sitting okay. in to take notes and help and uh, update her when she gets back as to where the discussions have ended. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to go to uh, our our last session is um, recommendations yeah. and opinion okay, for okay. our last session. Marie, Hello? could you mute your Marie? Hello? Marie, to see. Okay. Sorry. So Uh, yes. uh -huh. Hello, Anika, is it possible to make some comments now or we wait until you finish yes. the entire presentation? Is it possible to use her? Uh, Esther? Yes, I am on it. Okay, fine. So uh, my our last session is recommendations and opinions for the youth components for both action coalitions and CSW. So you can now comment. Um, there was someone who spoke earlier. Was it Marie? Anika. Yes, Anika. Yes. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. Yes, I'm, I just wanted to make a quick comment. I think there is need for the conveners to track mm -hmm. on whether the mem on, on whether their members are actually having these discussions at country level um i'm coming from zimbabwe and zimbabwe was lucky in that uh, a few weeks ago uh, we had a, a special rapporteur on sido and the civil the women's rights organizations under women's coalition of zimbabwe convened a, a stakeholder meeting to consolidate its shadow report so last week the government of zimbabwe was presenting its report on how it has progressed under CEDO. But with reference to this process, I, I think FEMNET needs to track on whether the countries, the member countries, are actually having this discussion with young women. I've just posted on Twitter to find out how many young women are actually involved in following up, or in consolidating their position towards the Beijing Plus 25. It could be a few here or there, but it's more of a recommendation to say, can, can, can you follow up and, and, and make tracking on whether all the young women's organizations in the member countries where feminine is are actually having this discussion mm -hmm. so that by the time they go for, C, for, for CSW, they've got a very strong uh, document. I feel that this conversation might be happening in silos. There's need to strengthen that coordination. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we have noted that with concern. Uh, currently, what in the Beijing process, there was the um, a, a, a culmination, if I may say so. We started with the, um, the national reviews and up, uh, FEMNET has the exact number, but there was an upwards of 100 countries that submitted their government yeah. reports, and now we are consolidating the shadow reports. Actually, like for Kenya, uh, FIDA was doing it, and they have not yet sent it out. They are almost done. So these processes are happening, 
but we acknowledge the fact that it is not reaching everyone as we would have envisioned and that's why we keep on having these awareness sessions and uh, and and webinars because also having offline consultations convening meetings is a bit uh, you know costly and so we are trying to utilize social media as much as possible at the end of this call we will project on the screen the social media handles for the beijing youth 25 plus youth task force where you can get all the information about the youth event and generation equality so please be sure to follow and and retweet every time we share information we need to be able to come together to use our social media handles um i'm seeing zonis zonis Zoniwo. Yes. Hi, how are you? Fine, this is Zoniwo. Uh, Zoniwo is on the advisory committee. She will be going to Paris to advance the African agenda. And she is amongst the team that we will forward our recommendations. I'm seeing in the chat group, someone has spoken about land rights. <laughs> if someone who has spoken about land rights, Hello. Hello, this is Zoom yes. speaking. Again, congratulations mm -hmm. to the Youth Task Force. Mm -hmm. I just want to make clear yeah. uh, in terms of how to engage and organize and be part of the whole conversation, yeah. particularly around generation equality. Can you hear her? Can you hear her? Yes. Can you hear me? The yes. Yes. And the women have yes. sent out a call for potential yeah, leaders of action coalitions. I don't know how many of you are aware of that, but the deadline is 21st of February. I think this is a very important moment and an opportunity to get involved in the whole conversation, irrespective of your constituencies. Don't forget that the generation equality, as colleagues already have mentioned, it's doing business not as usual. It's all around alternative and bold transformative approaches towards advancing conversation and also realizing gender equality. I will encourage that everybody submit their application for the Leaders of Action Coalition and also encourage your government to take leadership position. I did remember one participant had asked in the group around how are we en engaging or how are we ensuring that uh, leaders from the global side are also taking leadership. If we look at the whole processes, you realize that there is France, there is Mexico, but then where are the African government in particular? We'll focus here on African government. Where are they? Some of them are not aware, and it is our responsibility to educate them, to inform them, and encourage them to be part of these processes, because this is a global process, and they, it cannot be happening without them being part of it. So we really have a lot of work to bring along our government and get them buy into the whole process. And also, the Leaders of Action Coalition is also open for government officials. They can indicate their interest to champion and carry on one of the thematics, the Six Action Coalition team, as part of their national agenda. So I thought I should flag that out as an important opportunity for us not to miss, given the fact that the call is happening today on the 17th of February, we still have a few days to submit our expression of interest. Thank you. Thank you very much, Zoniwo. That's amazing. If you, if, I think her major takeaway was for us to um, register and apply to be an actual coalition leader. Senate, please help us in circulating that form. Okay, we will share, um, that. We'll, we'll share that online. Yeah. We are also I'm just looking at the chat box. Yeah. yeah. We are also requesting on the chat box, you can drop your handle. You can drop your Twitter handle so that we can always know who we can target when we want to share something about the youth the before and during CSW. Do my best. Going back to the chat box, I'm seeing Esther who's commented. I'm wondering if the youth coalitions on Beijing is positioning women and girls run lights as a priority. So thank you for the contribution. Can I, can I also ask to follow up that question? I'm um, Esther. This is Esther speaking. Yes. Uh, I have been engaged in uh, the women movement for over 25 years now. 
And so I'm not a youth, but I was lucky to be at Beijing at the age of 26 years. So I went to Beijing conference when I was 26 years old, and I'm privileged to be also participating in the Beijing Class 25 review. One of the commitments I have for this process is advance women and girls' lad rights. And I'm wondering whether the youth coalition has been positioning women's lab rights because when we are working with young women traders, when we are working with young women in the slums, they are concerned about their right to housing and their right to land. When we work with the young women who rely on farming as their daily bread, their practical one of their practical questions is on women's land rights. Now we tried to pursue a national coalition on women's land rights, and it didn't go through. But we have an opportunity to mainstream details of women's land rights in the coalitions that is talking about economic uh, justice and rights, the one on climate change, and also the ones that is talking about gender-based violence. Because many the women and girls are fought when they are claiming their they are love life. So I'm wondering what is the role of the youth if they want to work with us to really push for this issue and then film it in the in the in the approved coalition and especially now the international coalition that is a global network of organizations dealing with women's land rights is very it's investing in making sure that at the beijing uh, meetings especially in the upcoming of 64 women's land rights will be on the agenda Thank you, Esther. What we can do as way forward on your question is to have a small paragraph on it, and we can include it on the document as an African issue. So I'm sure Clemnet is taking notes. Of the um, you know, uh, you know, consolidate all this data and get back to us. I am going to take it uh, back to Abel to wind up on question and answers and contributions. And Abel will be glad with feminine. In closing the webinar as we request for time. Thank you. I'm here. Yeah, thank you so much, Anika, for the wonderful moderation and everyone for your input and question. Uh, we have like a few minutes to take your question, recommendation, and comments before we conclude and wind up the webinar so anyone with any comment question you are you're welcome before we wrap it up there's a question from yvonne in the chat room yes yvonne is asking women's in political participation our context keeping witnessing down what trend any best practice from that regard anika you are the best position to answer this question or anyone from feminine well, uh, for political participation, we, we put forward a recommendation for the institutionalization of young women in leadership and the advancement in political party leadership and representation. And so the, ma the main aim of this webinar is to actually get to your recommendation and get your solution. So if you can drop a paragraph on that, on that and send to and send us, to definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, Anika, for the response. But we have another question from Sia. 
Sinyakio. What are we doing in regards to female prisoners and their sexual reproductive health and rights? What are we doing in regards to female prisoners and their sexual reproductive health and rights? Anyone from Feminate to respond on this? Hi. So as I had mentioned earlier, um, we have a document, we are reviewing the six themes and um, it would be good if you have any contribution because it's, 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 uh, it's a document that is still under um, progress, we are still working on it. We are, what we are doing is we are, we, are, we, are, we are reviewing each theme and putting, looking what is missing or what, what do we want to see in that theme. And we are actually um, requesting young women to send their recommendations to us. So I will be giving the email where you can uh, send your, you know, your, your, your recommendations, your contributions, so that we include them in that document. I hope that is good. Thank you so much for the response. Any other questions, comments? There is another question here. How do we send the contribution for the publication? Feminate, you said that there are the document will be circulated for the for the contribution. How do they supposed to send the contribution to you? I'm sharing the email address right now on the chat box. Send it to Yirangu at feminite.or.ke we shall be thank you so much yes so there is an email shared in the chat box why the wrong what feminite.or.ke so if you have any any concern or contribution you can send right away to that email also we have a question to on armed conflict, armed conflict are recurrent in Africa. I recommend we lay emphasis on WPS. That is a recommendation and suggestion. We are taking it. Abel. Abel. Yes. If I may just contribute. This was a major was issue a in the development of action coalition. coalition. Yvonne, your Yvonne, issue on armed um, conflict. Um, Women, peace, and security is missing. And it is a major So we are calling on everyone who is from who works in the sector of women's security and armed conflict, especially those who contributed to the ADI meeting, the one for the AU on silencing the guns. We would really appreciate if you could send in some recommendations. Please move them like a paragraph. Some recommendations that we can use to argue and I'm thank you. Thank you so much, Anika. I think we are there is another suggestion here. Kindly consider women's safety and security during during humanitarian crisis. We are taking it. But uh, Lucy is asking that I haven't had anything on mental health. What is your take on this? Ment the issue on mental health. Feminity, do, do you have anything to say about mental health? Um, I, what I would say is, um, looking when you look at the six themes that we are we are talking about. There is what, um, if, you, if you read the document from UN Women and it doesn't answer your question, just indicate where you would want that re recommendation, the action point to fall so that we know because you are the experts in different areas. If you are working in mental health, you're the best person to give um, a recommendation because you're the one who is in the field. If you're working on women and land issues, you're the best person to give a recommendation from that perspective. Uh, so that I would say that you can contribute through um, 
sending us that recommendation so that we can include it in our um, uh, action points, the, the ones that we'll be sharing at CSW. And also, you can also contribute your views through applying for what um, Zone was talking about to be um, a lead in the six teams, any of them. Then that, that's how we are going to consolidate all those, your voice and your actions. Thank you so yeah. much, Feminine. Also, I've shared, it, I've shared your email again, wynbirangu at feminity.or.ke. So if you yes. have any contribution, any recommendation, you can send right away to Feminity, and then they will be happy to, to consolidate that and put it into action. Having said so, I wish to welcome Feminity to give us updates on the future webinars. If there is any webinar coming in, Next year, you can tell the participant, and then we will go on with the wrapping up. Oh, so for the webinars, there's another one that will be happening on the 22nd or 23rd of February, uh, alongside with NGO CSW. As you've heard, tomorrow we also have the Francophone webinar for the same topic. If you have someone you need to share it with, you can let them know. We will also be doing podcasts and we can share and broadcast to you, to your email or to Twitter as well. So be sure on that. But the most you can get about what we are planning to do before, during and after CSW, please follow our Twitter handle, Feminet, Feminet Prog. Yes, we are, we are always updating on anything the Youth Task Force is doing, the UN Women Africa, the Generation Equality in general, and as well as what we are pro contributing to the CSW as well. Thank you so okay. much for that uh, yeah. information. Yes, if you can uh, project <laughs> slide number 26, please. Yeah, thank you so much. So while we are, end, we are wrapping up our webinar, I wish to share you some of the social media handles we are using as uh, Beijing Plus 25 Task Force. Twitter, you can reach us through the handle you see there, Facebook and Instagram as well. But also don't forget to follow, follow Feminet and UN Women, where all other updates will be shared. But also, we are looking forward to welcome you during the CSW in the Youth Dialogue, which will happen in, on 9th March. But also, we'll have an interactive dialogue, which will take place on 16th March. After saying so, I wish to welcome Anika, if you have a last word to share with the participant. Anika, last word. No, um, thank you, everyone, for joining. Please get in Please touch get with in us with our social media, yeah. especially if you're going to CSW. The task force has uh, contributed to organize three events for the youth in New York. So. If you're going to be in New York, please get in touch so that we can consolidate the African youth to one voice. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Feminet. I'll turn it over to Esther to close the meeting. Thank you so much for um, your time, your participation. We have recorded the all the the webinar, so sharing the audio. We also have also those who sent your questions, your recommendations on the side chat. We have taken note of them. So we will be working on them and be sure to receive from us the, 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 the link for the audio and also a calendar of events for the CSW. And send your recommendation. You can also send your recommendations to that email that we have shared, y.dirango at femna.or.ke. Yes. Unless someone else has anything to say, but for now we we are done with our webinar.
Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. 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 Bye.